Hi there, everybody. It's Kathy, and it's a lazy Easter Monday morning. And I'm here with my coffee and some dollies, and I thought we'd have a little chat. So, just a sec. So, there's a couple things I wanted to talk about today. Um, I think that the main one is the um, sort of uh, I don't know that it's a tag, the, the discussion that's going on about buying versus doing with your dolls. And I'm terrible at making myself not buy things. Really quite terrible. Um, but having said that, I've noticed that or over the last little while, I'm really quite happy with my dolly family the way it is. And every once in a while, I'll see one and I'll just, just have to have. Um, but most of the time, if I stall long enough, they won't be available, <laughs> which is, you know, kind of a cop out on the, you know, having willpower. Um, but I've discovered that while it's fun expecting a doll coming in and it's fun getting the new doll and playing with a new doll there's a whole bunch of other stuff that comes with it right and and I don't actually find that I enjoy the hunting for stuff it's not exactly that I don't enjoy it I like looking at dolly things so Fish, um, you know, scrolling through pages of, of dolly things that are available, you're seeing all kinds of dolly stuff, right? But if you're doing it because you need to buy the right eyes or the right wig or the right shoes, I find it actually kind of stressful. And I'm not sure that even just browsing when I don't need something isn't doesn't kind of stir me up and make me stressed a bit. Um, so I guess the shopping maybe doesn't actually make me feel better. Um, and of course it depends on moods somewhat. There, there will be times when I, um, will just, you know, reach out and buy, um, hardly thinking at all. Um, and I'm not sure what really triggers those. Um, so I don't, I'm going to say I don't get as much from the shopping for the dolls as I do from having the dolls. And having said that, then we move on to doing, and it depends on what you consider doing for your dolls, right? Um, I have my dolls, as you've seen in earlier videos, they all sit out um, mostly in the doll room. There's three looking at me from across the way, even as we speak. My two animator dolls and an, uh, my um, Anna Green Gables porcelain doll that my mom gave me. There's one, two, three, four, five sitting on the coffee table in front of me. They're not looking in my direction, but they're there. Um, there's two on a shelf there and all the rest are, are in the doll room. And, and they're out all the time, and I know it's not you know, probably good for the resin and all of that, but that's what I bought them for. So they sit out, I see them every day, and I consider that doing. And I know a lot of people wouldn't. Um, I don't feel like I need to change their clothes to be doing things with my dolls. I take them out, so dolls come to work with me maybe once every other week. Um, I'll take a doll with me to work. That's doing. Um, if I decide to change their clothes, maybe for a season or whatever, um, that's doing. And I'm working on a pair of wings for my acorn, uh, doll leaves acorn girl. Um, that's doing, although it's taking me forever. Like I've had the wings put together, but no magnets on them for a month at least. Um, so all kinds of things are doing. Just the fact that I see them in the morning when I let the dog out of the kennel and I um, say good morning to them. That's doing. Um, 
So yeah, I prefer, hi Coda, come on up. <laughs> this is Coda. He doesn't always make an appearance. He often makes a noise. I don't know if you can see him. Come here, come up a little higher. Come here, dude. <sighs> Coda, look, look, his head. Nope, I think he's off screen. There's his nose. Hey. Um, sorry, off topic. <laughs> yeah, so um, I prefer doing, I guess. Having said that, I just recently, as I mentioned um, a video or two ago, um, bought um, a second-hand um, Fairyland Mini Fee Aaliyah on an active line body, and she's in the country. She was coming from a, a seller in the States, and she cleared customs in Montreal yesterday. And at like 45 minutes, like it was a really, she was with customs for a very short time, which I take as a good sign. Anyway, so she should be making her way east to me. And I'm hoping, I should have her by Wednesday probably. So I'm looking forward to that. And having done that, um, I also ended up ordering a, an A-Zone Extra Small white skin body and if you're following me along you know that that's because I have this cute A-zone <laughs> dress that turns out to be for extra small and I have to have a doll that it fits because the dress is not going anywhere um, yeah so you know I didn't say I'm good at not buying things I'm weak but that's okay so she'll be on her way too I think she's but she's coming from Taiwan so that's <clears throat> A slightly longer trip. Um, so then, hey, um, if you could scram, Coda. Shoo. Um, so I did do, um, in the more official kind of do, uh, yesterday. And what I did was I finally finished the MSD couch I was making. And it's upholstered in the back too. Um, and I'm really happy with it and not. So it's the perfect size, as you can see. Um, well, as you might be able to see. Chris's foot will be on the floor, but his knee is not tucked up around his ears. The two fit very nicely, you know, on a reclining kind of basis. It's deep enough for them to really use the couch. Actually, um, use the the uh, dimensions from the from the love seat I'm sitting on um, to design it. So all good, right? Yay! I finally have my couch made. Do -do 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 -do. Um, but. For me, the other side of doing things for my dollies, if you want doing to be the making of your own stuff instead of buying it, I'm never happy with the things, right? So I'm mostly happy. Clearly, I should have steamed my material before I used it, but I felt, you know, in a hurry. Um, and it's not too bad, but if you look along there, I can get the angle right. See the glue? You're not supposed to be able to see that glue. And see this rolly thing? There wasn't supposed to be a rolly thing either. Um, I made that to tuck into those corners because it was so hard to get do the gluing in that crease right for the piece of material that came up over the um, arms of the of the couch so i made this to fix that
fat and hide, you know, the messiness, only to end up with blobs of glue, glue gun glue, that show. Now, when the dolls are using it, you won't know. If I'm taking a picture from most angles, you're not going to see it. Like, I'd really have to take my pictures this way for you to know that it's there, but I know it's there, and it bugs me. So, my earlier couch that I had made, I really, really like it. and I have cushions for it, and it's great, but it's too short, and it's not deep enough. And one leg falls off all the time, right? Like, I don't know if you have this problem like I do. Um, but just when I make things for myself, I'm never 100% happy. And the other thing, a uh, minor glitch, was that one of these four legs that I measured and measured twice and measured three times is a little bit shorter than the other. And so the couch wiggles a bit. I'm going to have to do something to stabilize that. At least it's not for real people, right? So my dolls are unlikely to complain, which is good. Um, yeah, so I have all kinds of other things that are in the works, partway, ready. Um, eh, I lost track. Sorry. When you can't think of what to say, take a sip of your coffee, it'll give you time to think. It didn't work, just a sec. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's about all I wanted to share today. Um, I don't normally do the, you know, in my bathrobe kind of deal. and um, But, like I said, it's a holiday Monday for me, and... I hung out in bed, and it was so warm and toasty, but I woke up, and you know, I played with my cats on Neko Atsumi and whatever, and finally just got up. And I'd finished my couch last night, and I wanted to share that with you. So um, I'm going to let you go. If you, have, if you are in a place where today is a holiday um, um, in lieu of Easter Sunday, then happy day off and otherwise everybody i hope you have a great day today and i hope everybody has a great week um feel free to like comment subscribe all those things and check me out on on uh, instagram and Flickr as well and i'll talk to you soon bye <laughs>